A special report coming up from our Wouldn't it be nice to live right at the beach? Maybe the beach is closer than you think. Discover Campland on the Bay on Mission Bay right here in San Diego. Camp in an RV or tent. Explore the beach. Splash in the pools. Score at the arcade and have lots of fun at all the games and activities. While 24-hour park rangers keep your parents safe. Camp Land on the Bay. It's the beach in your own backyard. Remember, prevent over-irrigation by adjusting sprinklers so they don't overspray. Pour dirty water down the sink. Sink water gets treated. Water that goes down the storm drain does not. Reduce bacteria by properly disposing of grass and leaves. A change for the better begins with you. Gold Stage, folks, for providing shuttle service today. Goldfield Stage is the perfect choice for a company outing or a wedding or wine tour. Whether you need to move 15 or hundreds, next time you have transportation needs, visit www.goldfieldstage.com and ride the wave in style. Coming up next will be the Junior Women's Petite Final, event number 47, and the preliminary lane assignments are Newport Aquatic Center in lane one, Capital Crew in lane two, Long Beach Juniors, will be occupying lane three out there in lane four, San Diego Rowing Club, while Rose City Rowing Club of Portland, Oregon will be in lane five, and finally on the far outside, Holy Names Academy from Seattle, Washington. Next up, the Junior Women's Petite Final. And the race is off and down the course. As of right now, we have Lane one and two in a tight race. That would be Newport Aquatic Center and Capital Crew. Capital Crew is taking a small lead. They are followed very, very closely by a dead heat between lanes three, Long Beach Juniors, lane four, San Diego Rowing Club, and lane five, Rose City Rowing Club. And Holy Names is slightly behind in final place. As we come up to halfway through the 500 meter mark, Capital Crew has uh, pulled out a small lead over Rose City Rowing Club, followed by a very, very tight heat between Lane 1, Newport Aquatic Center, Lane 3, Long Beach Juniors, and Lane 4, San Diego Rowing Club. As we pass the 500 meter mark, it is a dead heat between Lane 2 of Capital Crew, Lane 5 of Rose City, and you have Lane 3, Long Beach Juniors, followed by Lane 1, Newport Aquatic Center, Lane 4, San Diego Rowing Club, and then just about a boat length behind is Lane 6, Holy Names Academy. The Junior Women's Petite Final is on the water right now and headed the finish line way. And quickly checking our lane assignments, Newport Aquatic Center in lane one, Capital Crew in lane two, Long Beach Juniors in three. The fourth lane is occupied by San Diego Rowing Club, Rose City out of Portland, Oregon is in lane five and Holy Names Academy is in lane six. All six of these crews have made it down our waterways earlier today and would suspect that conditioning will definitely be a part of what's happening here and who finishes in a leadership position. Capital Crew followed by Newport Aquatic and Long Beach Juniors on the lead of this race as they approach the 1,000 meter mark. And then looking outside, San Diego Rowing Club, Rose City, and Holy Names Academy from Seattle, Washington would be the trailing four crews. Still doesn't look like any open water has existed. Slight boat link lead there for Capital Crew. Capital Crew in lane number two seem to have their biggest challenge from outside Long Beach Juniors. And then Rose City beginning to make a move on the far outside. 
along the shoreline, Newport Aquatic Center, outside to Holy Names Academy. Right now, lanes two and three seem to be at each other. Capital Crew has the slight edge at this time. Long Beach Rowing, check that Long Beach Juniors on their outside, continuing to hang in there. On the far outside, Rose City appointing themselves rather well at this juncture. And then we look at Newport Aquatic, San Diego Rowing, and Holy Names. It is Capital Crew in lane number two on the lead. Followed by Long Beach Juniors on their outside. And then to the far outside, Rose City making their presence known. About a boat link back to Newport Aquatic Center. San Diego Rolling Club and on the far outside, Holy Names. The order has stayed pretty much static here for the last thousand meters. And that static lineup has been Capital Crew on the lead. They are being shadowed by Long Beach Juniors. Rose City moving up slightly on the outside. Newport Aquatic Center beginning to pick up the pace along the shoreline. And then outside, San Diego Rowing Club and Holy Names Academy. Capital Crew continues on the lead. They are being challenged by Long Beach Juniors. Rose City on the outside, and they're being shadowed by Newport on the inside. In the red shell, San Diego Rowing Club, and on the outside, in the yellow shell, Holy Names Academy of Seattle, Washington. This is Capital Crew, with about a boat length lead over Long Beach Juniors. We have a pretty interesting race going on between Newport Aquatic Center on the shoreline side, as they have eclipsed uh, Rose City Rowing Club on the outside. So it's Newport along the shoreline getting up there, but we still have a leadership of Capital Crew. Outside of them would be Long Beach Juniors, Newport Aquatic put on a rush there towards the end and appear to have picked up that third position. On the far outside is Rose City in the center of our race course is the San Diego Rowing Club and outside and just now finishing Holy Names Academy. We are getting ready for event number 48. This is the Women's Club A. It is lane assignment okay guys, being lane one, the yellow boat. Lake Union, the Seattle, in is in lane number one. Keep Rocky Mountain in Rowing Club nice out of Denver, well, Colorado is in lane there. two. Ashland Rowing lane Club three, in lane three. Willamette Rowing three, from Portland is in lane four. And River City away, Rowing here. from West Sacramento push push is out there in lane five. Lane five, bring your hands in a little. Lane five, bring your hands in. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going to hold that line. We're going to keep tweaking that line for 25 seconds. So everybody listen in as we tweak as we go. The boat will drift. All starts and results. 